Hi, this is Susie with Scrapbooking Outside the Box. I haven't made any videos for a long time. I've been busy with new grandbabies. But I'm here to show you what I've been working on lately. And that is um, these new pocket or project lifestyle um, scrapbooks. I know they're not new, they're new to me. And that is why I decided to go with a smaller version than the traditional 12x12. This particular one happens to be a Heidi Swap spiral bound one with just a few pages each month. It's a monthly one tabbed by the months. There's a few pages for photos and a few pages for journaling along with a calendar. Um, the other more traditional one is the larger Project Life format. This one is 12 by 12 and it does come in various configurations of your photos and journaling spots in different sizes. I decided to go small because it was my first time. I w wasn't a big fan in the beginning because I'm such a traditional scrapbooker, but as things started moving so quickly and as they do in our lives, um, I decided I'd start um, trying this and I really like what I've uh, experienced so far. And so let's just get started and I'll show you what I've done. This is the cover of the album. You'll see throughout that there are many pre-made um, embellishments or pre-printed embellishments, what have you. But you'll also see that you can add your own to make it seem a little more personal. And uh, let's, let's get going here. For the cover, I added a tool ribbon. I added this banner with a photo on top. This is a paper tray ink banner and I inked around the edges. I topped it with this particular die has banner toppers which is kind of fun because there are two, one, two, three, there's five different toppers that you can see. And I used the scallop one which I inked because this particular album has a little bit of a distressed vintage feel to it. And then this is a slide frame from Paper Tray Ink. It's a new addition to their new series, Monthly Moments. This is the slide frame. Comes as, uh, in addition to all the months, it comes with various sayings. The one I printed here is, this is the best. Um, there is also, together we make a family, you make me smile, favorite photo, there's a lot of other ones. Just a lot of different uses you can um, use that. And the only monthly moments I have so far, they just started it, I think in February. So I have February and March, but I plan on getting the whole series because they're so scrapbook friendly, I can't even tell you all the uses you can use these stamps for. And the 2014 is a Quick Cuts alphabet. Let's see if I can find it. Of course I can't. Anyway, that that's from a Quick Cuts alphabet. Then you move inside. And this is my second granddaughter's birth announcement. I just double matted it, added some Heidi Swap acetate butterflies, along with some Heidi Swap bling. Every girl needs a little bit of gold bling. This is another one of Paper Tray Ink's additions to Monthly Moments. Um, well, it's not necessarily monthly moments, but it, it uh, bodes really well with it. It's called a few pointers. And uh, you can either stamp inside these, or you can make them solid, or you can do your own hat writing, as I did here, because she's wearing my mom's pearls. I wanted to document that. And then this is one of those pre-printed pages that I told you about with lots of different um, ephemera, different looking um, elements. But you can see I added some of my own touches. I added a threaded button, some more gold, 
stickers to coordinate with the other side, a tag with some gold thread and die cuts along with some journaling. This love die cut is paper tray inks uh, one-liners. This particular set has love, peace, and joy. I just think they make a really neat linear aspect to your layout. And then we move in. And then the next back page is also pre-printed. Every month has um, days of the week. What I did is I just filled out a few highlights that I could remember because I did start late. And then I added some button stacks. These are paper tray ink. I know I sound like a broken record, paper tray ink, paper tray ink. But I do find um, it is easier for me to stick with a company like this that has coordinating dies with coordinating stamps and coordinating papers. I just love their system and it's very high quality. That's the stamp set I used. I just die cut them and then gave them a coat of glossy accents by Ranger and threaded it with some twine. This little bear is from Baby Button Bits. Super cute baby set. And also this um, pocket is also, it's the seed pot packet from Paper Tray Ink. I just added another butterfly. Again, I like to kind of keep a few elements flowing throughout the pages, especially in the same month. And I added a photo to both sides. This is my older grandbaby, Evie. Oops. They have some things you would probably add in a monthly journal anyway, such as goals. Um, days of the week. There's more on the next page I'll show you. We are getting ready to build a house, so that's in my goal section. And then you have the pocket pages for the photos. And they just slip in and out really nicely. I'll show you. I'll show you and then it won't. And this particular one Paper Tray Ink has also made it really easy for us by creating the 3x4 um, journaling dies. This one I just used the round one, but on the next page they also, uh, you'll see they've also added a scalped one that fits nicely inside the rounded corner one. You can also add your embellishments on top like I did here if you don't want to get them on your photos. This one I added um, directly to the photo, so it's not on top of the sleeve. You can do it either way. They both work. And then we have more of a few pointers on this page. I just think these are great for bullet points. You can just add some. This little date stamp is from their journaling accessory stamp set. It's this one right here. And then I'll show you again the, um, later the journaling lines die, which is really neat. This is the scalloped on top of the um, regular die cut like that. And then more um, quick cuts, alphabets. This is a paper tray ink little elephant. I made his ear with a heart that I shaped. More bitty buttons. I wanted to incorporate them, like I said, throughout the month. I chose to hand print my days of the week. You can also use um, stickers, you can use stamps, uh, or die cuts. You know, whatever you choose. This is the journaling card using the journaling accessories card. So it's, you can see it's really easy to make your own journaling tags or 3x4 embellishment cards. And you can do them ahead, which is nice. I've made some generic ones like this that can you can keep them on hand and just if you really want to whip a page out quickly, just fill those in with, along with your photos. 
and you're good to go. I've been creating these for my Etsy shop, which is suzannebweb.etsy.com. You'll find a few different sets there. You can get a couple different themes, and then you're set to go. All you have to do is pop your pictures in, add some journaling. Super easy. Um, I think you'll like it. And again, I'm going to... I am going to graduate to the larger 12 by 12 size, and I'll be sharing that with you as I get going with that. I just wanted to start with something that wasn't intimidating to me, something that I could just get going when life is moving fast and you want to make sure that you get those, those uh, important dates down before you forget them. That's what I did here, and I'm really happy with it. It's easy. And I'll continue to show you as I update. And so I hope you enjoyed this. Um, check back in. I'll be adding more often. Bye-bye.